Howdy y'all, welcome to Nerd Studio. Hey, we're out at the range today with another Ruger 1022. Now I used a, a different model of this same gun in my first uh, brown rifle, black rifle video. Uh, I'll put a link to that so you can go see that if you want to. This is actually a different model. Uh, for the 50th anniversary of the 1022, Ruger did a contest and put out to uh, all of the 1022 fanatics out there and asked them to design what they thought their ultimate 1022 was. Now, if you don't know anything about 1022s or you're not real familiar with them, they are probably the most uh, modifiable gun out there. In fact, you can build a Ruger 1022 without any parts from Ruger because they are just so, so common. Um, so they, they put that contest out and people responded and this is the design that won that contest. Um, it, it's got some great features. It has a, a full Picatinny rail across the top here. It has a flash hider. Part of the coolness of that is that it means the, the barrel's threaded. So uh, if you've got a suppressor, you can pull that off. It's got the black plastic stock. It also has, from the Ruger American line, it has the replaceable uh, uh, butt pad so that you can change the cheek height. So uh, if you want a cheek weld, for using the iron sights, which are on this gun are really nice, um, you, you just simply use the lower butt pad. Uh, I have the higher uh, butt pad because I've put a Nikon uh, 22 long rifle or a rimfire uh, specific scope on this guy. Um, one of the you know sort of interesting things about this gun is if you go back and look at that brown rifle, black rifle uh, video is. Uh, you know, even my lovely camera girl will say this gun looks much more menacing simply because it's black. All right, let's shoot a few rounds and uh, and we'll talk some more. Okay, so there you go, the Ruger 1022 50th Anniversary Contest winner rifle. Um, it, you know, this gun has some great features that are not on your uh, regular Ruger 1022. It is a, a really nice design. It's a great all-around rifle. I sighted this in today at 100 yards and, uh, you know, I have no problem hitting the target. Um, you know, the Ruger out of the box is a pretty accurate little gun. It's so well known. Uh, this one actually is stamped with the 50th anniversary, you know, 50 years, 1964 to 2014. Um, you know, it's, it's just a very cool example of it. Um, I, per, I may not modify this gun at all. In fact, I probably won't just because it's so unique. Uh, and really you don't need to. I've got, uh, I, you know, some designs around, um, you know, doing some modifications to a Ruger and, and sort of uh, turning it into a target rifle, I think that'd be a lot of fun sometime, but I don't think I'll do it to this gun. Uh, it, it's just, uh, you know, cool as it is. One thing I probably will do is Ruger just came out with their two and a half pound target trigger that's a drop-in replacement. There's no gunsmithing involved, so I may, uh, I'm probably gonna, gonna put that trigger in this gun uh, simply because it, it just adds that next level of accuracy when when you uh, can get that really nice light crisp trigger. Uh, the trigger on this isn't bad. I, I'm hitting, you know, probably two inch groups at 100 yards with a 22 long rifle, it's not bad at all. So uh, no complaints, but a little nicer trigger would be fun and it's a drop in replacement. Uh, once I've got that installed, uh, expect me to do another video of this uh, on this gun and talk about that trigger. All right, always remember anyone could shoot, anyone could shoot one of these 22 long rifles uh, the, the Ruger 1022 is an amazing gun and it's a whole lot of fun and that's what this is all about, having fun. Alright, we'll see you next time.